Hey y'all, just got done with a pretty lengthy hike and I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go ahead and get takeout. Yeah, let's go ahead and get takeout and welcome to Quarantine Eats. Oh, and by the way, I'm recording this on my phone. Hey y'all, so the hiking trail I went on actually was in Livermore, so I went and got takeout in Livermore, and I would have shot this video in Livermore at like a random park somewhere, but kind of thought better of it because I actually, tell you the truth, I shoot these videos like on my own, like I don't have like a camera op or like a sound recorder or anybody else helping me out, I just shoot these on my own, and I didn't want to drag out a whole bunch of equipment out somewhere on my own, so I just drove back home to shoot this and yeah it took a while so this has been as you know it's been waiting a while but so the place I went to is sauce barbecue in Livermore and there's actually a location a lot closer to me but this is the original location um, as you can see here's the name of the place let me uh, tap the focus a bit um, so what I ordered was a beef brisket plate with a side of a sweet jalapeno coleslaw and I think baked beans, I believe. And yep, this is the brisket. Still smells pretty damn good. Still smells pretty fresh. Um, let's see here. And right here are the sides, I believe. Um, one of these is, this is the baked beans, as you can tell. And right here is the sweet jalapeno coleslaw. Tap the focus. That doesn't look quite as good. Um, yeah, it doesn't look quite as good, but I'm sure. I'm sure it will not have a nice kick to it. And I also got a growler of beer. This is uh, Hogs and Hef. And now let me ask you this. How many of you have actually seen beer come in something like this? Like a clear, that's plastic, a clear plastic bottle. Honestly, you never see something like this. At least not clear. And tell you the truth, or to give you guys a little tip, I would try to keep this away from the sunlight as much as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this right now. This is Hogs and Hef, so it's one of their beers, one of their house beers, because that's what they do. It's called Sauce Barbecue and Spirits. And this is how it looks, obviously, just like how it looks in the plastic. It's not too different. Really good, really sweet. Hefts are probably my, some of my favorite beers, just to let you know, so. And that's about it. This is the sweet Georgia gold sauce. I probably should have gotten more sauces, but oh well. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and dig in, but first, let me get this all like plated up because just to make things pretty. I'm gonna go inside for a plate. And, oh, they, they actually did give me utensils. So, give me a second, I'm gonna go inside and get a plate. As you can see, this is what the food looks like plated up. We got the beef brisket right here, baked beans, coleslaw, and the Georgia Gold barbecue sauce. And, and I kinda cheated, but I got another type of sauce right here, a sauce from another place, which I'm gonna go ahead and try with this, just to get rid of it. Utensils are included, but I really, I, I do need a stronger knife than this like plastic Sioux for this, so I went ahead and got a steak knife. So let's go ahead and dig into this food. All right, so let's start with the beans. I'm gonna try the beans first, yeah, the beans. Uh, 
Those are actually some really good beans. Those are actually some really good beans. They're actually similar to the Southern style baked beans I made before, which is actually really good. Coleslaw. Mm. Ah, let's see a jalapeno. I didn't get a jalapeno on that first bite. You know, I was expecting a little kick from this. There isn't really much of a kick to this. Even with the jalapeno, I'm gonna try another bite with another jalapeno. It's not bad though. I was just expecting a little bit more heat. Finally, oh, actually there's the heat. Took a while to get there. Hmm. Next, I'm gonna try some of the brisket with this Georgia Gold barbecue sauce. Actually, let's try, let's try a little bit alone. The Georgia Gold barbecue sauce actually kind of packs a little bit of a hit, or maybe that's the jalapeno from that sweet jalapeno coleslaw. I don't know. Anyways, the brisket on its own is not bad, but I'm sure it's gonna be better with sauce. Hmm. It is better with the sauce. Now I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna try from the sauce from this other place, this other barbecue place. <laughs> I know I'm doing you wrong, sauce. You're really good, but I should've gotten multiple sauce. Multiple sauces from sauce. Yeah, I should've gotten multiple sauces from you, but I didn't, but. I'm gonna try this barbecue sauce. Now from this place I got the, the medium barbecue sauce and the mild. I'm not sure which is which. We're gonna try this though. And no. That's good. But I prefer their barbecue sauce better, of course. Mm. Mm. And wash it down with a little beer. Man, that was pretty good. That was pretty damn good. I would absolutely recommend it. It's honestly, it's one of the best barbecue places we have in the Bay Area. Is this good? Southern bar places in the South? Um, no, I would say not. Then again, I've only been to uh, Central Barbecue in Memphis, Midwood Smokehouse in Charlotte. That's actually it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of wimpy. But no, it's not as good as those places. Those places are in the South, so what could, and this place is in California, so what can I say? Um, the beer is really good. That's actually what, what really makes, that is actually what thought, kind of sets, puts them over the top in terms of if I was to like rank it like barbecue places because beer does improve the experience. As for takeout, well, it kind of depends on what you order. If you order the ribs, you're gonna need, you'd be using up a lot of napkins. The brisket on the other hand, not as much. So for takeout, I'd probably recommend something that's like not as messy, or rather, you know, takeout during the pandemic. And I also suggest um, probably not eating this on the go, like in your car or, or you know, at like a picnic bench or something, if you're able to do that. I, as, as I said, I was considering shooting this video in a park and then I re realized, you know, I'm, I'm on my own and, I don't wanna, really wanna have to lug out a bunch of film equipment, so. I will recommend this place for takeout and for its food. Although I suggest you order something not as messy. 
And they also don't give you a really good steak knife. So if you have a steak knife at home, use it. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.